Welcome, welcome, collective. This is Queen here, back here again with another general intuitive, intuitive energy read for the collective. Remember, I'm gonna take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Um, thanks for tapping in. Oh wow, you guys are amazing. I'm getting this. Somebody's in deep thought. We're gonna hop right into these messages, okay? Into this energy. Um, and see what messages the divine spirit, spirit guides, and the ancestors have for us at this time. Somebody wants to communicate uh, something with somebody. You could have just recently broke up with this person. Um, but I was getting that they wanted to communicate with you about something here. Okay. Or they want to talk to you or whatever. Um, maybe there was a change. Uh, some type of change here between you two. So let's see what's here. Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Somebody didn't expect something to happen or what's here, Holy Spirit? You have the child in the reverse here. Number 18, we should have get to number nine. Hmm. And somebody felt like somebody was immature and they took the wrong path, or somebody felt like they were immature and they took the wrong path path. Okay. Somebody wants to communicate. Somebody's thinking about somebody reflecting on something here. What's here? Hmm. When somebody should have been concerned about somebody, they weren't concerned here. What else is here? Then we're not concerned about somebody's stability here. Somebody's been very immature. Somebody took the wrong path. And when um, I got, I'm, I'm feeling that somebody reached out to them, they didn't think it was important. Okay. They didn't think that communicating with this person was important at the time. I'm getting they see things differently now. They want to communicate with you for some reason. They want to send you a message. Maybe you're not talking to this person, but you are heavily on this person's mind. Yeah. This main male here. This main male here. Somebody you could have been married to that you're now separated from. Or somebody you could have been in a union or commitment with that you're not with this person anymore. They want to get a message to you. That they took the wrong path. They didn't take your messages of any concern at the time. Okay. Wow. They could have left you... Uh, needing something or needing answers. That's the energy I'm getting here. Yeah. We have family or community here. Maybe this person went to a, another family or got with another family and ended it with you here. They wasn't concerned about your feelings at the time here. Okay. Hmm, I'm getting this person was putting on a facade with you. Okay. They were pretending. What's here? Yeah, this person refused to change when they were with you. They refused to change. <laughs> so what messages are they trying to get through to us here? Well, let's see. <laughs> I'm getting down this person. Oh, wow. They mistreated you, collective. They are kicked to the curve. For hiding a secret love affair they had with somebody that was very envious of you and jealous of you. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. Yeah, they asked us and got kicked to the curb. Okay, be a feminine or masculine here. Yeah, in the past they was hiding they had a love affair on you. Alright. And now they, they karmic and kicked their ass to the curb. Okay. They was envious of you, or somebody in this community was envious of you, okay? Uh, they used to be a hater and jealous of you till they got with your person, or your ex here. Now they done ended it with your ex here. Your ex wants you to know <laughs> that they done broke up with the karmic. Wow. Uh-uh-uh. Now they want to call and give you some type of fake-ass apology that you're not interested in, okay? Wow. They're just angry, Spirit said. They're angry that they got played. They got played by the third-party karmic. They didn't see the red flags when they took their ass over there. That's what Spirit said. Mm -hmm. What else is here? Tell us more about this karmic energy. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, they had this third party a secret on you. But now, they want to contact you, but they know you're going to say, I told you so. I told you not to carry your ass over there with that karmic anyway. I told you that that person wasn't no good. I told you they wasn't no good. They didn't listen to you, collective. Yeah, they didn't listen to you. You told them that, you know, you felt this person was envious of you or you, you, you tried to tell them. They didn't want to hear what you had to say. Now they're going to know that you, you told them so. And now they want to come back into your life with a fake apology. But Spirit said that they just got a bruised ego. They feel us hurt. They still pretending. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person that got in between your last relationship with your ex, they were just a, a hater. They did shit out of spite. They were very jealous. Okay. Now they have kicked your person to the curb. They kicked your ex to the curb. And I know you probably don't want to hear it. But your ex trying to communicate something to you here. Okay. That things have changed. Things have changed with them and the karmic they cheat, cheated on you with, okay? They was expecting a new beginning with this person. But you told them to be careful or to be cautious, okay? And now your person somewhere feeling insecure, wishing they had to listen to you, okay? Because whatever they were, whoever they went towards or whatever, that contract is broken. They have realized how toxic this person is, okay? Yeah, your, your ex-person or the person that decided to cheat on you collective, yeah, their life is falling apart right now. <laughs> Okay, wow. They they ready to sit the fuck down somewhere now. And that's what they ready to do. Or either check themselves into a hospital or check themselves, period. Okay, is what I'm getting here. They could possibly be doing drugs here. All right. We could be possibly uh, picking up on somebody that, that's, you know, like, um, could be an older person. Could be a younger person, but also an older person. Somebody that really should have known better than file for somebody's dumb, dumb ass trick like this here. Is what I'm getting here. I'm falling for a dumbass trick. Being masculine or feminine here. Okay. Because that's how this Jezebel uh, spirit was. Was a, was a, a trick here. Okay. And that's. Yeah. Somebody got something they wasn't expecting here. Okay. There's sexual protection here though. But it came out in the adverse position. So I don't know. Maybe they found out this person was a hoe. Being masculine or feminine here. Now, they, they don't want to hear that I told you so coming from you. But they want to contact you. They want to send you a message. That whoever they got with was nasty. They was nasty. Mm-hmm. They took the wrong path. Okay. Wow. They want to come towards you and, 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 and set something straight with you. Okay, I'll be straight with you. Okay, like... To tell you you was right, you you know you hit hit the bullseye straight in the center about this karmic. Okay, you told you tried to warn them or, or some type of way about this. This wasn't gonna be no love story, you know. If you if they cheated on you with this karmic, okay, or if they was cheating on you, period, okay. But they didn't listen. They didn't listen to you. Mm-hmm. Neither did they keep the promise. Neither. <laughs> Wow. But you kept a promise to, 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 to break it off with them and you did. Now they want to contact you because see things in their life is out of control right now. All right. Things in their life is out of control. This person is angry at themselves. They're not angry at you. They're angry at themselves because whoever they went towards tried to be you and they couldn't be you. Okay. They What, what they found out them to be was somebody who was very provocative, somebody who was very arrogant, and somebody who was very sluttish. Okay. Be it masculine or feminine. Yeah, that's what they found out about them. Mm-hmm. That they wasn't nothing but a hater. You know, they didn't like you or your person. It was all about they self. Your person fell for a, a delusional Jezebel spirit. Be it masculine or feminine. This was a hater. Somebody that was a pretender. And your person, um, you know, couldn't see the forest for the trees here. Thought the grass was greener. Wow. Got over there with a hater. <laughs> yeah. Somebody to try to be you. Be like you. Thought they could copycat you. Wow. Thought they could think like you. Be like you. Walk like you. Talk like you. You know, just take your place, period. They couldn't. Now, your person's life is falling apart because they got this toxic karmic. Okay. What a Jezebel spirit. Woo. Nothing but total drama over there. <laughs> Can't make it up. Total drama with this hater. Mm -mm -mm. 
That's all that happened over there. And see, now your person know that they effed up real tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, And they want to come to you and tell you that you were right, but they don't really want to hear you tell them that they was right. But they know that you were right now. You know what I'm saying? There's some things that you probably told them during your relationship, you know, um, to set boundaries and things of that nature. But no, they wasn't willing to fight for your relationship when you was with this person they wasn't willing to fight you know what i'm saying they wasn't willing to get on the battlefield and stand up uh for you they 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 hid behind um the scenes and cheated on you and now they got with a karmic now they know they messed up okay all they was doing was fulfilling a fantasy this karmic was with your person your person thought it was for real your person thought it was the real deal they thought that they was really getting over there getting a relationship and this karmic was going to keep their promise with this person and they was going to end up living one little happy love story but now nah, that shit don't end it and your person want to tell you but you ain't trying to hear it or your person ain't trying to hear you your ex ain't trying to hear you say I told you so because they are feeling destroyed right about now yeah, they're feeling destroyed for cheating on you. Number total drama over there with the Carmen. They fell right into that SHIT. <laughs> now they may be checking themselves into a hospital or just checking themselves for the mistakes they made. Messing around with this toxic karmic Jezebel spirit. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now they all in their feelings, okay? Wow, they're feeling. <laughs> They feel it disused or discarded by this karmic here. Well, now, now your ex is in their feelings. But you already know. <laughs> you already know the T. Okay. Wow. You already know the T. And ain't nothing this person can do but hate about you. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Now they want you to do a background check or tell them something else about the karmic. Because they think that you're psychic or something like that. Because you forewarned them, you know. To not to never cheat on you, you know what I'm saying? It's, don't ever do that. And they promised you they wouldn't, and they did. And so now they, you know, getting karma, bad karma for what they did. Yeah, they're running away from this karma that they ran towards. Now they're running away from their ass. They don't want to fulfill no fantasy with this person no more because this person, uh, yeah, they broke your person from cheating. Your person ain't gonna cheat no more. Your ex ain't gonna cheat no more. Yeah, they know they messed up. Mm-hmm. They embarrassed about all the gossip going around about how how this karmic they went towards and they cheated on you with how they destroyed your your ex's life or your ex person's life yeah how they got played by the karmic and everything else yeah they feeling pretty stupid okay wow what else is here a bunch of fake friends everybody around this karmic was fake and your person and they seen your person get played by this manipulative liar this karmic that they ran ran towards okay now they want to run away from the karmic because of all the gossip and, and all the rumors okay because it didn't turn out to be a love story it turned out to be a hate story it, it turned out to be a manipulation um control here a bunch of lies that this karmic told your person here okay a lot of fights a lot of drama between them too okay and their situation okay but yeah now your person wants to come communicate with you or send you some type of message to let you know that it's over with them and the karmic. But they're really too embarrassed because they don't want to hear the words, I told you so. Okay, because apparently you told them so. Maybe this was a fake friend that ran off with your person and you told them they weren't no good. And they was making bad choices. Okay, our bad choice. Take it how it resonates. Okay, feminine or masculine. Yeah, this person was just, you know, blowing smoke up their ass or whatever. They fell for that shit. What's your spirit? Yep. Thought that call themselves cheating on you, having a, a private relationship with this uh karmic Jezebel spirit, which was a bad choice. Okay. Well, wow. probably was one of your fake ass friends they got with. All right. Yeah, it's over for them. Okay, that relationship. Or right, if you can call it a relationship, that situation shit is over. Okay. Yeah. They didn't see the red flags. They got with a damn bugaboo. <laughs> wow, they got with a bugaboo. All they did, look at them. All they did was stood there and argue. All the time. Had many, many differences here. Mm -hmm. Found out this karmic Jezebel uh, was promiscuous, you know. Just laid around with anybody, had sex with anybody. You know, now your person is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And, and, and being with this, knowing that he's, or she's been with this uh, embarrassing 
promiscuous Jezebel spirit person that sleeps around, you know, a hot free for all piece of ass, okay, sleeps with any man or any woman or whatever. Yeah, they know that people sitting around gossiping because their life is destroyed. This karmic took your person down. I mean, took them down several levels here. And they enjoying the gossip. I mean, these people enjoying talking about your person because your person apparently thought that they was doing shit. They thought they had something better than you. <laughs> wow, they got played. That's what they got. They ended up with some trash. That's what Spirit said. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now they said somewhere depressed. Okay. They said somewhere depressed or in depression because you told them that they was going to get played. You might have told them. And this karmic might have also told them it was a feminine karmic Jeze Jezebel spirit. A feminine feminine karmic Jezebel spirit. They might have told your person they was pregnant. And that's why your person went over there. But went over there and got betrayed because this karmic Jezebel wasn't nothing. But, you know, a free for all. You know what I'm saying? Going from headboard to headboard. Anybody could have this tramp. Wow. She was a free for all. She slept with anybody. She just slept around. Yeah. She was a liar, backstabber, a traitor. Somebody your person couldn't couldn't trust, okay? But he didn't know it till he followed this tramp over there, okay? Wow. Now your person trying to sneak around town and, you know, Real quiet. Don't want to be seen. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. I'm. I'm talking about embarrassed. Your your ex is embarrassed. Okay. If the person cheated on you. They embarrassed about the gossip that's going around about how this Carmen Jezebel did them. Wow. And how they fell for them. They messed around with a promiscuous tramp here. And got played by a promiscuous tramp. Wow, it was a bad choice. Okay, that's what they get for cheating. You know, on you collective having a, a, a private relationship, a sneaky ass relationship behind your back with a toxic Dick Jezebel karmic spirit here. What else is here? You may be getting phone calls from your ex here from unknown numbers. You may not know it's them calling, but you know now. What else is here, spirit? Is it your, your ex is broken. I mean, or the person that cheated on you is broken. You guys just may be in separation. All right. You may, you may have just stopped speaking to each other, but yet there's been no contact. Wow. Yeah. There's been no contact. Maybe you cut off all communication with this person. Maybe you blocked this person, or you just giving this person a silent treatment. But they want to get a message to you here, and they're determined to get this message to you somehow, some way, some day. <laughs> Wow, they're, they're going to be persistent to get this message um, to you about how how they were, um, why they want to explain to you why they kept you waiting. You know what I'm saying? And how temptation got the best of them. Okay. Wow. And how they're being made to face their demons. They want to apologize. Okay. Because they're the laughing stock of the community, of the wh whoever. They were made a laughing stock. This this. Carmen Jezebel made them a laughing stock. Everybody laughed at your person here. Be it feminine or masculine, it's just energy. And now they're crying, thinking of you, missing you, collective. Thinking about you. Because they got played by the third party Carmen. Now they're crying. Wow. But some of y'all didn't realize that Carmen was living a double life. They was keeping that a secret. Okay, they was over there secretly having a power struggle with your person and another and another karmic that that the karmic Jezebel was messing with. Yeah, they went over there and went through hell with this karmic. Do you want me or do you want them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the broken mirror is here. Bad choice for your person. Yeah, they got over there in that whole relationship. They realized it wasn't nothing but a roller coaster. It was a toxic connection. I mean, it was full of ups and downs. I mean, some fights too for some of y'all. Yeah, some fights too. And somebody has some vices. Somebody has some addictions going on here. Okay, realizing the karmic Jezebel wasn't doing but playing mind games here. Okay, whoever this bugaboo bitch is. Okay, wow, but you know, they probably. Felt it not to go over there, but they went over there because this tramp was very promiscuous, okay? But they didn't know how promiscuous. If they was promiscuous with your man or your woman, they was going to be very promiscuous with the next person. I don't know what your person was thinking. They walked into this shit blindly is what I see. See, now your person's sick and tired. Sick and tired of this third-party karmic. 
Oh, they sick and tired of them now. Mm -hmm. There's been a breakup. You know, the cold shoulder. You know, the trash is giving your person the cold shoulder. You know, growing distant from your person or has gotten a separation from your person here. Okay. Actually, right now, avoiding your person. Don't even want to talk to your person. Wow. Think of your person as shit. Or I ain't got shit. Okay. <laughs> no value at all. But see, that's what your person get for getting with this toxic love in the first place. Because they knew that they shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing but drama with them two. A uh, love-hate relationship. And there were some addictions, like I said. It was very toxic. Your person went over there and got played. Now they know they messed up. They want to talk to you. I don't know if they want to talk to you about getting back with you. But they want to talk to you about what they went through. Yeah. Because they're very depressed. They're very depressed. What else is here, Spirit? What else would you like to reveal to the collective? Yeah. They had different spiritual beliefs. I mean, I don't even know if this person... I don't know what they believed in. But, yeah, your person learned some lessons here. Okay. That this person wasn't the usual type that they was used to dealing with. This karmic Jezebel spirit. They weren't used to, to this usual type of person here. And so they got over there and, and see that they was a hot mess. I'm saying a hot mess. Downstairs and upstairs. A hot mess. Wow. Probably looks too. Mm-hmm. They want to see if they, you know, can um really come back to you and talk to you about this for real. Because they had never been with nobody like this karmic Jezebel. I don't know. Maybe they want to get some, I don't know, some pointers from you or something. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they want to ask you for forgiveness or whatever. Maybe they want to reconcile with you. I don't know because they have been going through a lot of chaos lately. This person is very depressed, whoever we're picking up on. They feel like everything's crumbling around them. You know, people are talking. People are laughing at this person. You know what I'm saying? Um, your ex, okay, like, wow. They were realizing they got with a bugaboo. All right? Wow. Your person used to be one that was, you know, well-known and liked by a lot of people. But now that people see that your person was easily manipulated by this bugaboo, this Jezebel spirit. They don't look up to your person anymore. Your person is feeling the effects of that. And it's really depressing your your ex, okay? Your ex, okay, yeah. They feel really bad that they didn't see the red flags with this karmic. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot of fighting, you know, that went on over there. A lot of chaos. Everything was crumbling. Your person, your ex person realized that it was one sided. There was a lot of trust issues because this tramp was she slept around or he slept around with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, they were very detached over there. Okay. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. They thought they had a desire for this, uh, for Mistress Jezebel, but yeah, they're realizing that it was nothing but toxic love here. And now uh, that they've bro broken up and your person's realized he picked up some trash or she picked up some trash, they want to come back towards you. Because them and the karmic is in separation now. Okay. What else? One more on this spirit. Please and thank you. What's the collective need to know? I know some of y'all don't even care about what y'all ex is doing. But somebody's ex really need to talk to them. Okay. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't, um, break up being, um, you know, like, mad at each other or whatever. Well, you didn't anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it was like, you'll still talk to this person, but you, you probably won't, like, be in a relationship with them, but you will st still talk to this person. Okay. This person may be, may, maybe even, um, uh, facing some legal issues or they may have hit rock bottom, you know. Right, they did, may just feel like, you know, they're so depressed their life is falling apart and they feel like you collective are the, is the only one that could talk them through whatever they're going through because they really messed up with you, okay? And um, you were good to this person, okay? And they know that so maybe they feel that you're the only one that they could talk to or they want to at least talk to you and apologize to you because ever since they effed over you, their life has been falling apart and they feel like if they apologize to you, then... Things in their life could get better. Okay. Wow. Because this person is determined to contact you. But I'm, I'm seeing that there's been no contact here. And this person, like I said, they want to apologize. And I didn't even see this on the bottom of the deck. They want to apologize. They feel remorseful and ashamed for what they did. For going after this uh, toxic uh, karmic Jezebel spirit that they went after here. Because your your, your ex has hit um, rock bottom. Okay. 
They want to make some type of amends with you, you know, at least apologize to you. You know, if nothing else, they want to apologize to you. All right. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, and they realized this person just wanted to be in a spotlight. I mean, they was always fighting no matter where they went out to, no matter where they were, indoors, outdoors, you know, at a celebration, at a party, at a concert. This person just acted a fool at church. It, would not matter, it didn't matter where they was at. They just always had to act a fool and argue and fight in front of an audience here. Your, your person wasn't used to that type of lifestyle. Yeah. Your person is embarrassed and ashamed that they walked into that relationship so blindly and, and left you the way they did. They want to apologize because they feel like they life been falling apart ever since they did you and cheated on you the way they did. They persistent about getting this message to you, but I'm getting that you've had no contact with this person. Oh, and neither do you wish to have contact with this person, but this person needs to at least apologize to you and say they're sorry here. Yeah. Because they feel like you and them had some type of spiritual union compared to the one they got into with this karmic Jezebel. Okay, they realize this karmic Jezebel was living a double life here. There's a lot of trust issues there, okay? This Jezebel karmic was nothing but a liar, full of deception. And they were already in another relationship, the karmic that they went towards. And there was a lot of trust issues, okay? Wow. Mm, mm, mm. They want, they want to tell you that they know that they were being stubborn when they walked away from you, when they cheated on you. Yeah, but they was having their true feelings the whole time here. But now they see how valuable that you are compared to others because nobody compares to you collective. And your ex is realizing that. Yeah, they sitting around with egg on their face. Yeah, <laughs> well, but I'm hearing you say you get what you desire. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm hearing you say because they're ashamed. You know, everything they did to you backfired on them with this Jezebel karmic spirit they got with. Anything else? Yeah, they walk into this blindly. They want to contact you, call you, and apologize. I don't know what else they want to say, but they're being persistent about contacting you some type of way. Okay. They're tired of being around toxic people. And they feel like they were childish, okay? Yeah, and they're missing you. They're sorry for being intimate with whoever this karmic is. You may know them, you may not. Okay, or getting into a union with them because they're missing you. Okay, and they're in regret. They're missing you again. Whoever this is, they're missing you um, collective. Okay, that's the message that I have for you. Um, if it resonates with you, hit the thumbs up. All right. If not, still hit the thumbs up, hit the like, share, subscribe button. Share it with somebody that may be in your energy or somebody you may know that have went through something like this. All right. Thanks again. I appreciate you all. Peace and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Till next time. Namaste.